Welcome back everybody to a brand new video and I know that we've waited a little bit of time and I apologize but I figured this was the right way to get back on schedule, get back on track and give you guys the exact content that I've been wanting to provide for you. And we've gone through a lot. Last video you've seen was the last video with M. And yeah, I mean, I'm filming this like the week after she left, right? So this is just getting ahead of schedule and it stinks, especially not having her on this investigation. But guys, to start it all off, bringing everything fully back, we are here at one of my top favorite locations ever. We're in Quincy, Massachusetts here at the USS Salem and the stories here are basically endless. Um, going from multiple deaths to just all of the stories that the soldiers want to provide and give us, it is just non-stop. Now this ship is crazy. It goes way back it is a ship that hasn't been running during its time for that long and what this was basically was the medical ship it came in it provided it gave all of the help that it needed i mean you guys see it this thing is absolutely massive these are just some of the guns and coolest thing in not really coolest, but a really interesting thing is that none of these cannons were actually shot in battle. This was strictly a medical ship. It wasn't fast enough. It didn't have the distance that it could travel. So what it would do it would be the ship that would just go in and get all troops that were wounded. It would go through like all these hurricanes. Um, I don't know if there was a tsunami type deal that it went through, but uh, this place is insane. And I mean, you guys can see, and I'll show you right now, it's just all of these massive just guns and I mean the torpedoes you got this cool bridge of sight and there's like everything it's just old and now just sitting here in Quincy Massachusetts for investigations for tours for reenactments and I mean it's just a very interesting spot and it's just honestly guys one of my favorites now I've been here and guys like look like you can see all just different rooms that we have to go through and find there's still so many rooms that I personally haven't seen myself and it just shows how much this is I might be double digits going onto this ship and that is crazy let alone right because you know who can say that they've been on a ship or just any location that you know that many times which makes me really have a draw to this place I feel like there are spirits that I connect to there's new spirits there's brand new rooms and it's really interesting about these new rooms right what we have is like navigation we have the whole engine room all of these are brand new and they're opening to the public so you guys can actually come here and see it but i'm going to be the first person ever to film it and document it and give it to you guys here on youtube and that's what i'm super happy about because like i said having a location that i've been to so many times and still being able to experience new things is something that i'm going to treasure you know what i mean i've been here for about two publics and I've seen these rooms and I'm the only person to ever really go down there both times and be able to witness. Now the workers here, they've obviously have seen it. They've uh, done their stuff and they've been getting great communication. They said that this ship has been so active. So it really gets me excited to give you guys absolutely everything. Now, if you guys don't know USS Salem, they called it the Sea Witch. And uh, I don't really know why they uh, call it the Sea Witch. But um, yeah, it's something that is just I love looking at it every single time you always get crazy sunset views that sadly I'm missing the cool bridge and I'll show you guys all of that at the end of the uh, video and you can see for yourself just on what this just beautiful ship looks like at night with <laughs> the blue light I don't know it just it's visually so cool paranormally so cool guys if you're ever in the area come check this out because Don he is just he's been so much help letting me come on the ship and uh, it's just really cool. Now guys, I've brought back somebody that you've seen before. It's Shane, he does the automatic handwriting. And I think to do something so different on the ship, especially this ship, it's never been done before, is something that is gonna bring out a whole new story. We have no idea who we're gonna be talking to. So it's just, it makes it exciting. I love this ship and it's just so cool. So guys, let's get back into it. The schedule's here. We're gonna be going back to back, or we're gonna go be, we're gonna be going back to every other week's for Saturdays, one o'clock, so. So how you doing? Um, I'm Lou Calcagni. I wanna welcome you guys on board the USS Salem, uh, CA-139. Um, the Salem is a heavy cruiser. Uh, she was made, she was built right here in the, Bo in the Boston Shipbuilding Yard uh, back in 1949, commissioned in 1949. Um, she only survived 10 years, uh, built in 1949, decommissioned in 1959. Um, throughout her 10-year existence, 
Um, it would be hard pressed for you to find any ship in naval history that has seen as much death and destruction uh, without firing a single shot in combat as the USS Salem has. The reason being, um, a few things have happened throughout the course of the ship's life, throughout the course of the ship's existence. 1953, she was sailing in the Mediterranean, uh, coming home, and there was a major earthquake uh, off the, one of the Ionian islands on the, off the coast of Greece, um, where because the hospital in Greece was destroyed, she for all intents and purposes wound up being the, the hospital for the area. It's predicted that around the range of 1,500 to 2,000 uh, injured Greek civilians were brought on board and treated. A number of those passed away, anywhere from children to, uh, to adult women and adult men. Um, some animals were even brought on board, um, which, is, which is pretty amazing, like their dogs. In 1956, um, they were conducting uh, gun firing exercises, anti-aircraft gun firing exercises, and uh, a ship called the USS John R. Pierce uh, who was also firing at the time. For some reason, they paused the weapons firing and the sailors had double loaded one of the gun mounts, uh, not realizing that they had already, that they didn't fire the, the, the gun that had already been loaded. So when it double loaded and they restarted the exercise, the gun mount exploded. Uh, a lot of those sailors were injured and treated on board. Some of them died uh, on board here as well. Um, there was also another accident where the USS Leyte uh, an aircraft carrier had a catapult uh, explosion, a catapult um, explosion back in 1955 um, where a bunch of those sailors were treated and brought on board. So the Leyte and the John R. Pierce were in the same battle group as, uh, as the, um, right here, the USS Salem. So you figure a ship like this, the size, those about 1,600 total sailors. Um, it was very rare that if a ship got underway that sailors wouldn't get injured um, and die on board the ship. Back in the day, uh, before safety really became an issue, um, you'd be hard pressed to find a ship that got underway for four to six months and two or three sailors didn't die. I mean, it just happened um, all the time. So all in all, throughout the ship's life, the 10 year existence, um, it's upwards of 110 to 120 uh, sailors and civilians died on board the ship. Now, a lot of people ask why the sailing was decommissioned only lasted 10 years. Well. Back in the height of the Cold War, the U.S. and the Russians were, were, were fighting each other, trying to get smaller and faster uh, with submarines. Um, the ship, the Salem, just wasn't meant for that type of combat. She was meant to go to, go to combat with other ships her size, pull alongside and, and slug it out with the big guns. Um, Salem was just too, too slow uh, to outrun the torpedoes and outrun the submarines, so she really didn't last all that long. Um, so that's pretty much pretty much the, the major history of the ship. So the cool thing about this guys is that these rooms recently just opened up for public view and we're gonna get a little insight on what these rooms were and you know just the basic idea of them. Alright so the room we're at right now is the combat information center. So when a ship is underway this is where the sailors sit, this is where they operate, the sonar, the radar. You have your sonar devices here, you have your radar devices over here. Um, this is where they're tracking all of the other ships that are in, the, in, their, in their area, all the planes that are in the area. If you look at this, at this plot board right here, um, so this was the last stuff that was written on the ship, the last time the ship was underway. So you have all the aircraft that they're tracking, how far away they are. Um, this was the aircraft, ca the carrier battle group, uh, USS Saratoga. So these are all the ships that were in the battle group. This is plotting out wh what they're looking for. So if you see bogey, that's an enemy enemy vessel or, or enemy or enemy plane. Uh, circles are planes. Uh, squares are um, are ships, and then the triangles are submarines. So these are all U.S. ships that they're tracking. So this is where they're surrounded. So this is the last time the ship was underway. Um, if you come in this space over here. So this room, this room right here is uh, pretty much damage control central. So if a ship, if a ship takes on any kind of damage, um, any kind of fire, um, any kind of electrical, any kind of water damage, these are all the control knobs that help the sailors figure out um, how to shut stuff off, how to turn on fire suppression systems, how to turn off electricity. Um, uh, all these devices are radio that they communicate with the different areas of the ship. So that way they know uh, what's going on, all right? So we do get activity down here. 
we have one sailor that we're speaking to right now who sits out on the in the plotting board right out there back there right in this in right in this round table right here okay. so um i'm not going to give you his name i'm not going to tell you what he does you seem to be already figuring some of that stuff out which is amazing mm -hmm. um but he's very good to us um you know we'll let him know we'll let him know that uh, that you guys are friends he obviously knows this gentleman so because he was down here talking to him for a while so um yeah you guys have free reign do whatever you want to do so we may get along although different branches i was army doesn't matter you're a service but member so we might be able to introduce yourself let them know let them know when you're when you're on board the ship mm -hmm. doesn't matter if you were navy or not let them know you're a service member because you understand the service you understand the rank structure you understand all that stuff they actually appreciate it um they didn't really realize our team had any service members on board um on the team so they were kind of shy to talk to us mm -hmm. it wasn't really until my friend passed away and don's friend passed away that when those spirits came on board and my wife michelle who's a, who's a sensitive um realized that he was following us around it wasn't until that happened where those spirits came on board and told all these other sailors hey you know these are our friends talk to them and it wasn't until that happened that stuff really started to spike mm -hmm. and lately it's been it's been it's been insane on the ship not in a bad way in a good way um you know we talk to all these all these spirits like they're like they're humans like they're our friends and I think that's why we get a lot of the activity we get. I mean, you've seen it when you were here. Uh, it's, uh, it turns off equipment like crazy. You're going to hear noises and sounds mm -hmm. all the time, which I'm sure you're hearing right now. Yeah, I'm feeling someone back here. That's yeah, he's all. probably back here. I agree. He's yeah. probably back here. When, service, when, when people like us join the military, they join the military to get away from a life that they, you know, they, that they didn't like. You know, whether they're getting away from a place they didn't want to live, they're getting away from family. They do whatever they want to do to get them out of that life. You know, and they come in the military, they join the Navy, Army, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard. They get a good job, they get a good place to live, they get friends, they get a roof over their head, they get, they get a family. And, you know, this becomes, they, they find a meaning in life. Mm -hmm. So this becomes some of the happiest times of their lives. And when some of these, when some of these sailors pass away, when some of these service members pass away, you know, they revert back to a time in their life when they were happiest. Which is why I think a lot of the sailors that are coming on board the ship right now, a lot of the spirits that we're talking to, they're coming on board because this was the happiest time in their life. So we have people on board that were stationed on here. We have some that were never stationed on board. We have civilians that come on board that, that we talk to that are just, that they love it here. I mean, it's, it's incredible. You might be able to agree with this, and I know they will, that yeah. once you join the military, there is no going home after. No. Nope. Because... This is what you know is home, um, and what you left is no longer the same. So this is the place where you felt that you had family, friends. Yep. I mean, you're ready to die for each other, so um, can't really expect that back home. So you, know, you get people that you love, like brothers and sisters, that, that will stay with you forever. And that's why being on board the ship for us, like I'm not even sensitive i'm just a volunteer mm -hmm. i come on board i'm with the team like my wife's a sensitive jimmy is he's our he's our our, our camera expert you know our, our technical expert you know we have a lot of sensitives on the team mm -hmm. and i come on board just because i'm a, pri a prior sailor you know my wife wanted to come on board and say hey we're going to go check out the uss salem i'm thinking all right you know being out of the navy for at the time since 2012 2013 i wanted to come on back come on back on board a ship and see what it felt like to be back again once i was out of uniform and I came back here and all the stuff I've seen, I've just never turned my back on it. This place is, you know, it's a memorial. Mm -hmm. It really, really is. Yep. The spirits that have died on board, this place is a memorial. That's why we take it so seriously. That's why we talk to these guys like they're still alive. Mm -hmm. And they appreciate it. And that's why they, they communicate with us. Absolutely. It's pretty awesome. You know, just like anybody, spirits especially deserve respect. And that's what they'll get, you know. And a lot of them have a story that they want to share and sometimes it's just not the right person to share that story with um that's why people complain that there hasn't been any activity or whatever it's because they're not ready to open up and talk to you yet right um there's a time and a place and um a certain group of people maybe um but they'll open up eventually yeah eventually when, um, once once they know they can trust you they'll start yeah. opening up to you once they know that you don't have negative intentions I kept picking up the name Sherman. I don't know if that has any 
uh, relevance to this location, but it was prior to getting here, so I'm, there might have been a Sherman at one point on this ship. Um, and I don't know if he's going to want to come through and talk later, but um, I don't know if that's ringing any bells for you. Not me, no. no. But that doesn't, that's not to say, that's not to say that they're not here. Like I said, we've only, we've only encountered one sailor down here. Yeah. But this, say, this, this area housed probably 20 to 30 sailors, enlisted in officer. So, I mean, there's a lot of people down here who could be down here that we haven't communicated with everybody yeah, yet. Like I said, more than one down you no, know, absolutely. I believe yeah. that. I believe that. But we've only been lucky communicating with, with the one. If yeah. there's more down here and you got a name and we can start talking, that'd be awesome. Yeah. If you can sense another one, that'd be amazing. What do you think? I think we might uh, pick up some, some new ones tonight. Um... Yeah, there's a lot more than just one standing down here, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Right there. yeah. But, you know. Somebody was standing right here. Man. Yeah, they like the corners. Back corners. Yeah. I also feel a lot of, like, sickness, too. I didn't know that this was a hospital prior, but... Yeah. I already know I'm not giving his name. But, um... <laughs> But uh, he sits at this table. He did the charting on that table right there, and, and this is where we get a lot of his activity, right here. And he likes to, he does hang out in that corner. Um, a couple of us have been touched back in that corner. Yep, mm. back uh, here. So. And who's this? It's the sailor that hangs out down here. The operation um, specialist. Oh. If, you're, if you're over there, don't be surprised if if you feel something, send something, because he, he does when there's people down here. He kind of starts over there. Yeah, as soon as I, we got down here, I picked up on someone yeah, back there. He was yep. definitely in that corner when we came down. Yep. So this is uh, this is one of those rooms where we just started coming down. Um, I think you guys are this, actually you were on the first team that came, that yeah. came down. So this is the second, this is the second time that we've had a crew down here. So this is, uh, this is really special for us showing you guys this, this area. This is one of my new like all time favorite rooms. I like it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It does that. Yeah. It can. Right. Yeah. It's a bummer. It's a I'm, here. I'm sad. Is that that's a secret. Okay. Are you sad too? OS3. It's all Lou, Michelle, and Jim. Um, if you're here with us, let us know. Was that just you that hit the that hit the REM pod? It'd be great to hear from you again. Oh, sorry, maybe um, when the the guests are down here later, you can tell them what your name is. Are you willing to do that? Okay. So I'm not going to tell them. They'll have to figure it out. Thank you. Is his name Richard? Dang. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why. I just heard Richard. OS3, are you alone right now? Seagulls. Oh, okay, okay. I just didn't. <laughs> scared the shit out of me, man. <laughs> At first, I scare it. I'm like, what is that? Sounds noise? like a wheelchair or something. I'm like, wait a minute. No, that's seagulls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's three. Does the is the other spirit that's down here with you? Does their name start with an R? First name. Okay. Is it someone we've spoken to before? No one's upstairs. All right. Did you hear that? I did. Uh, like two bangs? No, 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 no. Upstairs. One hundred percent. Like two did bangs. You, just boom, you, boom. Did you? Because it yeah. sounded like something was tapping on this. No, I heard. We heard metal upstairs. Yeah, metal. Oh. We heard metal. metal upstairs. Was that you tapping, Jim? On I don't think so. Because I heard. No, I was one. I confidently can say it was in back of us going upstairs. Hmm. Well, that's what? What's? I'm sorry. What's? What's your name? I'm Ashley. Ashley. Yeah. OS3, let me ask again, if you're alone, please hit the REM pod for me. Please hit the red light. You're not. Is there someone with you by the name of Richard?
Is there someone with you by the name of Sherman? Oh. Huh? What in the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you for uh, responding to that question. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Shane. I also, yeah, I also served served in the U.S. Army, veteran of Iraq, and we're here to hear your story if you wish to share anything with us. Um, and it's an honor to meet you and to share this space with you right now. So thank you for allowing us to be here. Totally could have been dust, but I don't see anything. There was something that like floated like right here while you were talking. <laughs> he agrees. <laughs> he absolutely agrees. And it's I have it fully filmed. <laughs> That's insane. So do you and or Sherman like to share war stories? It's still a little tough to talk about, but maybe maybe we can share a story later. Would you like that? Okay. What we're finding lately is that these guys, the people that are, or the person that's here, the sailor that we're talking to, they, um, he, uh, he's, he's, he doesn't stick around very long. He'll talk for a bit and then he'll take off and we don't know why he does that. Hmm. Um, out of gas. Right, maybe he runs out of gas, but I mean, I, a lot of it, a lot of it, I think, is that he, he, he we thought he was down here alone, and we thought he, he just didn't want to be bothered, and then um, maybe it is energy, I, I don't know, but we we just thought he liked being alone and didn't want any, anybody around, as a matter of fact, right around the time when you came here last is when we started to, when when we started to figure out who he was, and yeah. Michelle, Michelle had a great idea where she was going through and, you know, using the alphabet. And that's how we figured out his name. Yeah. It took a long time. You know, does your name start with A, B, C? And then as soon as, as soon as, you know, we're getting the letters, the REM pods going off. And that's how we got his first name. And that was pretty incredible. And we've had other spirits confirm that same information. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you said. Does Allison know who you are? OS3? Yeah. Blue. Blue. Jeez. Right over it. <laughs> right friggin' over it. That is incredible. Well, OS3, I just want to let you know, and this is if you recognize me, but we come with absolute respect, being completely peaceful to you guys. We don't want to mess with your space. Like I said, it's just us respecting you. So we're just happy to uh, see a glimpse of an every day for you. All right, but yeah, let's check out the engine room. And guys, the coolest part is I came here a little bit ago just with a, uh, oops, just with a team just to hang out. And I noticed that these rooms were open and I've been wanting to get back here for quite some time. And now knowing that these rooms are open, it's leading up to all brand new stories for the USS Salem. And it's something that I, needed to get in here. I needed to see what was going on. So now to give myself this opportunity and to give you guys this opportunity, it's something really cool. Something that has never been seen. He told you I'm this first person really ever to go through something like this for these rooms. It's been two groups, but I've been in both of them. So it's something really, really unique and cool that I'm so excited to actually show you guys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> this, plot, this spot's crazy. I mean, Ever since first seeing this one, this might be like one of my favorite visual spots. It is. It's pretty incredible. This is main engine room two, main engine room one. Okay, so the ship had four engine rooms: main engine room one, main engine room two, auxiliary one, auxiliary two. So this is the main engine room one. Auxiliary one is down here. So if this if this engine loses power, this is the gas turbine right here, the gas turbine generator. If you lose power from this. The backup engines are right below. If you go down one more level to the auxiliary, you're about three feet from the water. So if you go through there, that's the that's the bilge of the ship, the hull of the ship, and you then you're out to the water. So it's pretty cool. You can you can walk all the way around there. Um, the areas that you can't go are fenced off for obvious reasons. Uh, there probably still hydraulic fluid and oil leaking out of some of the some of the engine spaces. 
but this one has a has a, a ramp that you can go all the way around and it comes out the back side so we have had some experience down here um i myself this is the only place on the ship literally where i've seen a, a shadow figure i've seen the little girl down here um kind of run by don and i um for some reason she plays down here we don't know why um but we have had some activity you'll get a lot of noises down here sometimes if, you, if you're by yourself and you're listening and you're quiet if you're pretending to be a sailor and you're in your in your you're uh steering the ship so that's that's aft steering um if the sh if the main pilot house loses control they can use those wheels to control the ship right there to turn the rudders you guys have any questions no i'm just excited to see it shane this yeah. is your first time again and yep you know you guys have been here how many times just once just once, just once but these yeah. areas are new so yeah well yeah yeah, yeah. i mean this is yeah. like what he was saying this is well and there's a reason being the ladder wells are, are very very steep i mean that's why we have a hard time taking people down here so if we have a large group we won't take people down here it's just too much of a too much of a, of a hazard for obvious reasons you got a steel staircase you know it's a long fall so just please be careful when you're going up and down make sure that you hold on to the railings and, and watch where you're going okay so i'm wondering if it's there is a sailor over here he's younger probably i'd say in his late teens early 20s which is what an average engineman would be and um he's not particularly happy so i'm wondering if he comes off or he presents himself as the shadow figure to get people out of his space do you feel the trauma in the head like on the left side <sighs> yeah i've been feeling that for a little while yeah but um yeah i feel like he he's off over here in this corner and he just kind of head kind of down he's kind of got like darker circles around his eyes like Oh, it's interesting. He doesn't like people in this space. Head trauma? Mm hmm How did you hear that? We do have a sailor who passed away from head trauma. But not down here. Not, not down, down here. But not down here. Hmm. And the problem is, we thought he hangs out in the third mess in one of the, one of the, one of the cafeteria areas, one of the galley spaces. Mm -hmm. um, he was an officer. Um, fell down a ladder well from the helo from the helicopter hangar um, and landed on his head and was treated and died on board. Mm. So, did hit the left side of his head. Oh. Did get trauma. Yeah, it's like all. And here. he probably he's probably hanging out down here. It's funny that you're saying that because we don't know wh I mean, he's where he goes. Not, he's likely not the only one with head trauma. Likely, but the fact that it's left sided and you're feeling it is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. She's right, but it could, there could be many others, but that's the only one that we're really familiar with. Yeah, there's a lot of different injuries that have been uh, kind of dealt with on board. A lot of there's sickness. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody had their hand crushed, uh, their left hand. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what else we can kind of uncover tonight. All right, guys, so now we are officially in the ship and we're gonna start, we're at the lower deck, back where you guys can see they got bunks and we already got some stuff set up. We got the flux right there, flashlight, but who are we here with? We're back with Green Mountain Paranormal. So <laughs> we have Ashley. Hey. We have Shane. Shane. And introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Lauren. Um, I consider myself sensitive and I'm clairvoyant and clairaudient. I wanna introduce you guys properly. So obviously you guys are back. Mm -hmm. Last video when we were all together was Norwich, right? Norwich. Yep. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> but so Norwich. So yeah, so if you guys don't know, Shane, go into what you can do. Talk about that a little bit because we probably have some new guys. They're not going to understand it. We can go into it fully later, but just a brief little thing. Yeah, so what I'm able to do is I'm able to channel um, and do like automatic handwriting and... Uh, uh, you might have seen that in previous videos, but um, we're here to try that again, and I'm here to try it with Warren. Yes. So if it's not rare enough to have one, <laughs> it's rare to have two. Yeah, exactly. Now, what's super interesting, and I want to try with you guys tonight, is for Shane, me and you, to go into one spot of the ship, and then you guys to go into another spot, and then we both do sessions at the same exact time. Now, what we get we have no idea. There's so many things that can communicate here, 
but I want to try, you know, who knows if it's going to be something about you, who knows if it's going to be something about me, whether or not it's you guys. So what I'm thinking is that if it's crazy, then me and you, what we do is we switch. Mm -hmm. And that gives an opportunity to maybe one of us, me and Shane, have a crazy session. And let's just use an example like Lizzie Bordenhouse. If you guys have seen that, I had to cut the whole camera because it got super personal. But what if it happens with you where it gets personal? Oh. Went off again. Light. I know that the flashlight's going and, yeah. But yeah, so what if it gets super personal? And then that's between me and you. They have no idea what's going on. I come mm -hmm. to you and it's the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Or we just get different stories. Yeah. But wait till later. Right now we're starting over here. What we were doing is we did the There's whole tour. something touching my right leg right now. Like I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like I can feel like a sensation like touching my right leg right now. Is someone touching your leg? Can you turn that light on? Or go in front of that device down the hall just to let us know? Confirm that? What if she's lying? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh so we, we're already feeling crazy stuff, guys. You can already hear the equipment's going off like crazy. There's a little it, chill right here. It's weird. It's oh, look at that. So you're a liar. No. <laughs> But um, yeah, so, oh, both. Can you turn them off? We can use these for questions. Um. That's insane, dude. When, so we were just walking back. I could have sworn you were walking with somebody. No, I, somebody was literally walking right behind me just then. I mean, I, I heard it. Yeah, because I had to stop and turn around and come back. I didn't know if it was one of the other people that are on the ship or not, but definitely it was very clear footsteps behind me. Can you do that again, please? Is it the chief? Here, let's walk down that way a little bit. Yeah. Because I know he hangs out in this kitchen area as well, but... Oh. Yeah, that was insane. Uh, well... I mean, that was... I wish I had that film, cool. dude. That was like the clearest double, like you and somebody else. Yeah. That's, I... I thought it was one of them. If that was you, Chief, can you make a noise? What the fuck? Did you just hear that? It was almost like a noise before that. No, what did you that, hear? I heard almost like something move. I don't know if, what it was, but then I heard the tap. Really? Yeah, something. Are you down here, Chief? Don't, can't explain the footsteps. Can't explain that because no. I was right behind me. Um, Anybody in here? Oh, it's getting that Whoa. Something right behind me. I didn't hit nothing. It's like totally a maintenance room for the ship. Yeah. You mean to tell me that the Navy was a little more pampered than the Army was? So this is the room with... I just can't spend more than five minutes in. Adopt a space.
Well, I don't know if this door closes on its own. Okay, it does. I just turned back and now it's closing. Yeah, I thought I saw somebody walking out there. I mean, there's totally somebody out there. Mm -hmm. Who's out there? Did you hear 100% footsteps and then what was that? Uh, it sounded like a squeaking of a door. No, no, it sounded like, like. Was somebody just out here walking? 100% I thought someone was walking out here. Yeah. As in like Ashley or, I forget her name. Lauren. Uh, Ashley or Lauren. That's what I thought. And then I heard the. <laughs> But you heard it though, right? Yeah. I could have sworn it was One somebody. Minute. Somebody was out here walking. So I almost thought I saw the reflection. But they would have heard us. Yeah. And came over here. This is why I always say I love investigating and doing stuff like this with no equipment because it's like there's nothing that ringing, dinging, anything like that that can go off. So everything that we're hearing right now, guys, is well, we just got no clue. clue. Um, and people forget too that we are the best equipment in this field, like our own selves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. Just heard. Was that? Somebody running water. There's no active water on the ship. Other than the bathrooms on the complete opposite side. Whoa. Here we go. Yeah, come on, come and get it. We don't want hot food to go to waste. What the hell was that water sound? Another huge bang down there. You want to go for a walk? You have to come over here and we'll go for a walk. Holy shit. Yeah, it's like on that side, it's like all surrounding us, but nothing's coming up to us. Other than when we're walking. When we're walking, it's like that's when they're following. Yeah. So, over here. Oh. Are you following us? Oh, I feel it on my back. Yeah. Big time. What was that? It sounded like something was dragging something metallic. That was like right back here, right in back of me. No? Can you make that sound again? You have to keep moving it. Like It was right here. It sounded like it was in here with us. I'm just trying to say guesses, but it's like that that's a that's a complete door. Yeah. I see a dark room over there. I just heard something squeak. I know, I heard that too. like weird I'm getting like now the same feeling where it's been for the last few investigations where I was like 
going down. Like just get drained. I think that we'll have to push through that. Huh? We'll have to push through that. Yeah. Um, but like going back to what I was telling you, it's oh, like yeah, exactly. with like this is a spot to where it's like, like it's, it's like a little wall. It's weird, dude, and they don't know about it yet and stuff like that. But like what we did in the parking lot, I kind of just want to talk about it. Oh where, yeah. Where this is exactly what's been happening, to where everything's just away, everything's pushed mm -hmm. off. And I said to them at the beginning, I'm like, I want to get a cleanse because I've been around so many locations. And I don't know if there's something that is sticking around and pushing everything away. I don't know if it's just the energy from all these places, but everywhere that I'm going, it's like not any of the activity that I've been getting. Now we have been getting stuff, we've been getting good stuff, mm -hmm. but now it's kind of like the same thing. This never made it a video. Me and M were just in Saratoga. I spray myself with this sage spray. We get like a good session to where I was like maybe 30 minutes. The only session that we had and never made a video because all we had was this an actual crazy REM products session. But now what's making me think is that with what we did, obviously it was advanced, but now it's like settling down. We had the activity. Now it's mm -hmm. like everything is distant. Now you're seeing it. Yeah. Um, and who knows? They might be just backing away observing us and kind of getting a feel for how we are um, but I feel like this does happen on a lot of investigations where it just goes quiet for a while yeah and then things will start picking up a little bit later um, so don't necessarily know why that is but I assume it's just like us we kind of need a little break from time to time yeah um, so, uh, we have to believe that they're still somewhat the same, even in the spirit world, uh, you know, where, you know, their energy, just like batteries, batteries get drained. Yeah. So they need to recharge. Uh, so, and I guess my question is, right, because you were saying it a lot, how you felt an attachment with me oh, yeah. right yeah. in the center of my back. Yeah. Do you feel like anything like that is potentially back from what we did, or? Uh, I feel like there's definitely potential for that, yeah. Um, I'll have to do another cleansing. But at the same time, we've been followed this entire time. We've been followed this entire time. So now to try and distinguish between, I know it was a man that was attached to you, and I know he was taller than you, he was slender, you wore all black, um, and I'm trying to, I feel like you you picked him up. Uh, could have been one of these times going through Salem, I don't know why. Why that came the first thing. Do you think that would, if I picked it up in Salem, right? Do you think that could have potentially made it to where, and it's like, I go to Salem for fun guys, it's like an hour away, but, what was I gonna ask? I don't even remember. <laughs> what was I saying? Why Why am I drawing a blank? I don't know. That's. I think that's happening too, like normally. Uh, I'm able to pick up on shit pretty easily, but something will block you from time to time, and that's kind of what's happening right now. Uh, I do feel a little pressure on the back of my neck, though, actually. I was 100% about to say something, and it's gone. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't know. I just felt it in the back of my neck. Oh, I've been feeling the back of my yeah. neck ever since kind of me and you came off. Yeah, so uh, we're definitely being followed, and they're, they're watching. I know they are. Uh, so now, the last few times when I went to Salem, before, I, like, I felt like I had to get out of there. Huge headache, not feeling good. Last two times I went, completely fine. What was that? It's kind of like a, oh. Yeah, it's kind of like it was. Did you hear it back here? I thought I heard it in front of you. By? I thought I heard it in front.
which it's funny. That's the room where I said they like told me to die and stuff like that in there. In here. We can try the flashlight in there if you want. So like I was saying in the beginning, guys, I came here a few times. I brought my little brother and uh, it was just like a uh, thing where you can bring kids. So we came in here and it was like telling me to die. It was telling me to like just all of these negative things. And it was just in this room. It, I don't even know how to explain it. So what's the blue mean on that? And I don't even have an SB7 to be honest. Shift in temperature means it's getting colder. Gotcha. So if that's you. Okay. Now can you step away from that? Make it stop. Make it stop. Thank you. Now go over. <laughs> Like I said, it's just weird how I just get drained. Yeah. I have to step outside in a minute. Yeah. Oh. Are you affecting Tyler again? If so, come clean. Tell us that you are. You don't need to hold back. Flashlight on. weird it's still beeping but it's not really blue light is coming out of oh, oh. Flashlight. so you're here and, yes and spirit box stopped all right now that you know how to operate the flashlight and that turn them both off please it'd be really impressive if you can turn them both off at the same time now turn the flashlight off. I want to ask you a question and I want to use the flashlight. Can you turn that off please? Thank you. Were you the spirit in this room that told me to go die? What the fuck was that? I that, that was a voice. That was a voice. That was a voice. Someone down here with us? Yeah. Jesus. Don't go too far. I'm not feeling good. So there's nobody down here with us that was made that noise, that voice. That was a man's voice. Yeah, I mean it sounded like it was in that corner. Yeah. It is very rare that I get goosebumps. I've been on a lot of investigations, house calls. It's rare that I get goosebumps. So, you're the one that told Tyler to die, huh? Confirm that by turning that flashlight on, please. Is it Tyler in particular that you don't like? If so, turn the flashlight on. If you don't like anybody in particular, that's what I was just gonna say. Set that device off. Now step away from it. Thank you. Now let me ask the question before you respond. <clears throat> Do you not like anybody? If you don't like anybody to be in your space, set that device off again. And if it's Tyler that you don't like, turn that flashlight on. I mean, it's, you can just be honest if you don't like me. And here's the thing, sailor. You won't be the first one 
that hates us. So, we won't take offense to it. I don't get it, dude. We, I mean, that voice was so clear. That was really clear. I hope you got it on the audio. I mean, if we heard it that loud. Yeah. Well, sometimes, too, spirits will communicate with us directly and not necessarily equipment. Yeah. So, it would be interesting to see if you got it on audio as well. Sometimes they'll just communicate with the audio on the piece of equipment, the uh, camera. Or sometimes we'll just hear it ourselves. And could that be us going batshit crazy? <laughs> sure, but um, I feel like for the most part we are of sound mind. Uh, so we're not down here hearing voices. Uh, don't really have any mental health issues at the moment. <laughs> so um, you agree that we're not hearing voices in our head? Um, so can you step away from that? <laughs> Thanks. Ooh, okay. What the well, fuck? I mean, there's that. I don't like this at all now. Fuck. Did you hear me? <laughs> Well, we heard you a little while ago. I don't have my phone on me for a light. I don't have a shit. Are you still recording? Yeah, yeah. There it's, are demons. Oh my there are fucking demons. god. Something just went. I, I saw something in the hall. Yep. Because it's a stem so, coming. Are you. Are you a mean. Spirit. You guys come in, yeah. So, uh, things have been interesting in here because first they said... Can I steal that light from me? Because mine's dead. We don't believe in like, demons and stuff in here, but it came across. It said there are demons here and everything. It's like... They're trying to scare you. Yeah. <laughs> no but I think that, like, sailor soldiers, we kind of like to prank each other sometimes. Mm -hmm. I did tell you, if they don't fuck with you, they don't like you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that's Good, that's funny. I'm like, I'm like yeah. yeah. This is a and the room, I'm glad you found it. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is another place that not a lot of people investigate. They don't, they're not aware of what it, what it, what it causes. Yeah. Your buddy Sherman, your buddy Sherman works here. Oh. Uh, Sherman works here. And he works down in the CIC. Uh, ah. So the light just got brighter when yeah. I said that. So, Sherman, I feel like I need to have a conversation. Sherman is a chief hall technician. Hmm. It's his first name, not his last name. Yep. So a lot of times, like when, you know, we don't really, unless we're in a formal setting, like we're, you know, in garrison or we're enjoying this yeah or around um we are too you know anybody of rank like we'll generally call each other by our first names because it's sorry it's uh like a sign of that friendship but mm -hmm. obviously like when we're doing something you know then we refer to each other as our, uh last names so sherman would we're be, still here <laughs> so sherman that would be a first name and that would be correct because he's coming off as being friendly. Mm -hmm. So, but when we try to get his last name, he wouldn't give it to us. Mm -hmm. Refused to give it to us. Yeah. Um, sometimes soldiers, sailors alike, don't like to be called by their last names, especially when they're chiefs. Yeah. Hey guys, time is like going by so fast right now. We only have this for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So I think we're just going to jump into the session. You guys are going to go to surgery, mm -hmm. and we're going to go to sonar room. We're going to probably most likely get completely different stuff. That's okay. It's honestly why we're even doing this. If we get anything similar, yeah. we'll talk about it when we're off the ship and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you guys are right there. We'll make our way to sonar. And okay. hope for the best. Good luck, guys. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to try to channel somebody that you have written down. 
I'm gonna try. Can't okay. promise, but I'm gonna try. Okay. So see if there is a connection of any sort. All right, we'll go this way. You guys go that way. Yep. Yeah. And we'll meet back soon. I'm gonna do not that. Uh, I'm no. gonna leave communication open and whoever wants to talk. We go this way, talk. sorry, I think. Yeah, yeah. Let's totally leave it to whoever wants to talk. So guys, just to let you know, some guy did die right here. He got crushed. All right, so I'm bummed that we didn't be able to do a full session down here because it's like, guys, they have all original writing of when everything was seen. But I mean, for the stuff that we've been getting, I'm not complaining. No. Because we've been getting, you know, a lot of no equipment used tonight which is really cool but it's like yeah you have all of these carriers from you know going to the franklin roosevelt to the uss saratoga so i have no idea who we're going to talk to shane is going to keep it open for anybody to communicate there's already sounds yeah coming from this room hi we're coming in Hello. Um. All right. This is it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. I feel like I'm gonna pick up a lot of energy from this. Definitely. Are these the original instruments? I don't know. I don't think so. Who knows though? Ooh. And guys, just to let you know while you're seeing this, I mean, this could go anyway. We don't know who's about to talk. So, could be from the ship, could be for any of us here. We'll find out. The way I do it on my grade is a bit different than the way Shane does it. Um, I kind of do it in a way where I'm getting the answers through some type of protection source. Um, and I don't really ask questions, I just write and write and write. Usually there's like a nature aspect of it that I go through, it's usually like one word, like writing, and then there'll be like a jumble of words that'll kind of connect in some way. So I'm going to try to do a few of these to connect to a few different things, because first I really want to connect to this room because there's a lot. Nope. <laughs> there's a lot of energy happening, um, and it's the energy. What are these sounds? I know. The energy I'm feeling is very like obviously like stressed because like it's a like a surgery room. Um, mm -hmm. I'm definitely picking up on that. Like it's like we don't have time for this. So mm -hmm. I'm interested to see what they're gonna like say really. Um, so actually, should I try to contact like a surgeon or should I try to contact like a patient? I feel like a surgeon would be easier to, cool to channel. Like the things they. But a patient would also be interesting but well, i feel like a surgeon will be well let's see who wants him through them that'll yeah really all right so i ground myself so it takes a little and i kind of get into the zone first <clears throat> is anybody down here with us right now can you tell me where you are The doorway going upstairs. Okay. There. Who is this? Is this Sherman? Yes. Why did you come through to me before I even got to the ship? Need 
help. Need help with moving on. Sherman, can you do me a favor if that's you that needs help? I set a flashlight up right there, you just twist the end of it. Turn the light on so I know for sure that this is you and that you need help. This is the first one we do. Mm -hmm. So I usually stop when, uh, so my transition sounds weird if you don't really do on my writing. Some people don't do it this way. But my transition, like I said, is nature. So if it starts to go on to nature again, usually that's like, okay, that's done. Like, we're mm -hmm. done with that. So that's what I have. So this was the one that I got for this room. I'm going to try to connect to whatever Shane's connecting to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try. Um, but if you want, do you want to hear? Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. So it's weird. I mean, yeah, okay. So like, that's what it looks like. Scribbles, scribbles, scribbles. You see all that? Mm -hmm. like, and you saw how fast I was writing. It's hard yeah. to think of words that quick i feel so it says waves ocean beat drum land sound wave you see like the nature mm -hmm. harness people that was the first one and i was like oh interesting mm -hmm. um stand still let go take time pressure stand up still help me drain energy power help save bandage sleeve ache temple time run out help please save help me now, doctor, doctor, which is weird. I never get double. Oh. And I paused because I'm like, doctor. And then it kept repeating. That's when I know I need to write it down. Place, tool, save it, money, energy, time, land. And then it was going to do nature again. So that's what stopped. So that's what oh. I thought. I need time. To make amends. You need time to make amends with your wife. So you were married. She wasn't on the ship with you. No. Was. You were unfaithful? Well, that's not very nice. That's it. That is this. Using this to confess. I wonder. Sherman, was it, was it one of the people that you picked up? Like when they picked up, like the people to save? Yes, or was it one of the nurses? Patient. <clears throat> you didn't. You didn't force this person, did you? No. So that's really interesting. I wonder if you're connecting to one of the victims from the Greece it's, yeah, it could, um, it could be a lot incident. Of things. Yeah. Could be. It's there. Yeah. You notice how quiet it is? Mm hmm. Thank you. We have a I flashlight here. That. Um, if you would like to also turn that on to validate. Yeah. Does that make, does that sound right? Does that sound like something you've gone through or you had to handle in this room? Or out in the halls or anything? You can tap that flashlight if it's yes. The energy I feel like has shifted. Mm. Like noise. And the tapping stopped. The tapping stopped. The noise has stopped. What the heck? It's like, yeah. 
Did your wife know Sherman? No. Sherman, can you do me a favor? There is someone else on this ship that is doing the exact same thing I'm doing. Can you try and communicate through her as well to see if we can compare notes at the end? And that way, well, you'll have two people that you uh, shared your story with. So we'll see, yes. Hmm. Is there anything that you, anything else that you wish to tell us? Maybe something that we don't know? He's saying that we'll be back. I mean, okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, he's saying that we'll come, we'll be back, and that's when you're going to be ready to leave. Yeah. How many other spirits are in this room? Did you say three? What year is it for you right now? Fifty. What is it? What year? Nineteen fifty-five. Hmm. Nineteen fifty-five. Mm. You worked on the ship. You were a chief. Just like he confirmed upstairs. Um, so you're asking for us to come back, and that is when you want to leave. Can you turn the flashlight on, please, to confirm that? Just twist the end of it. I'm not sure if you know how that thing works. I'm sure you do. Just twist the end of it. If you don't, then that isn't a confirmation for me. That means that I won't be coming back just to do that. So if you want me to help you, then you have to turn that flashlight on. That's the deal that we're making, okay? My question is, why after all this time is he asking? And I don't mean that disrespectfully, Sherman. I hope you know that. Because help is normally not offered. So you mean of all the people that come through here to communicate, none of them has offered to help? Not like you. Alright Sherman, here's my next question. I was supposed to come here with these two other guys. With their timing and things being weird, did you have a play in that so Shane could be here tonight? Yes, I need to come clean. So you've had a hand in that. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. Well, Sherman, I need, you know, this is good. Writing is good, but I need, I need something else from you, okay? I can't, um, I need more confirmation from you. If you can do that, can you 
maybe knock on something or move something. I believe so, yeah. Because they haven't filmed down there yet. And Sherman's down there, correct? Mm hmm. Okay. So, let me just get brought back in. If you want your story out, you have to do something. Or also tell Lauren that he wants to move on. Uh, yeah. Or go over and tell Lauren, please. Is your wife passed on as well? Is she? Yes. So wait, you two aren't together right now? Did she move on? So she moved on. Hmm. Was she with you when you died? Was she with you when you died? she was with you when you died. Yes. So Sherman, what did you, how'd you die? Undisclosed. Disclosed what? Weird, I've never heard that before. Undisclosed illness? What the hell does that mean? Just didn't know. Yeah. He was sick, but they didn't know what it was. What the f is that? I need to figure out what it was. Is there is there something Feels like someone just entered the room. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. Who's in here with us right now? You uh... <sighs> What? Your follower? No. He's talking about that thing. Are you talking about somebody that's been attached to Tyler? What is he? Holy shit, I don't even feel comfortable putting my back to that. Sorry. <laughs> I'll relax. I mean, I heard it come down the stairs. Yeah. Are you afraid of this thing, Sherman? All right, sorry, I'm relaxed now. I feel the uh, energy shifting. Right? Are you afraid of this thing, Sherman? Unless, is he gone? Mm -mm. Sherman? Sherman, are you still here? What is here right now? I'm just gonna be blunt. If this is something that has been following me, now's your chance to talk. You know, it is time for you to come through and talk. Who are you? You've been scaring everything off on these last investigations. Oops, my bad. And if you're hanging out with me, it's gotta be for a reason. 
and I don't get why you're being quiet about it. And I'm not trying to taunt you, I'm just being up front. Come through. completely I completely stopped why aren't you talking see this is the freaky part it's like it's just not saying anything So I, I can't really be too nice. I have to, you have to tell me who you are, what you are, why, why you're following Tyler like you are. You have to tell me, I'm demanding that of you. you don't demand shit so guys this isn't me doing this I just need you to know that uh, I feel really uncomfortable doing this right now and uh, I don't feel that very often um, generally I will uh, come at these things head-on um, it's uh, almost like using a Ouija board uh, but I'm like the direct channel. Um, I don't like the vibe from this thing. Um, and it does not like me. It's a little weird, like money time. Mm -hmm. But in my head, it's almost like if they're saying like time is money, you know, the idea of time is money, money is time type of thing. Because for that one, it says like dress, staple, uniform, dress, badge, honor, time, place, money, hands, help, interest, and just random facts, fast pace, time, control. I don't know what that word is. Balance, weight, gift, time, hands, leave now. And I said who? And I said them. I said stop. I said uh, it. Stop, oh, stop it, give me, and then leave again, please, and then it changed the subject, so. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. What the fuck did you get yourself into, is what I want. I don't know what I did. I, I mean, I haven't done anything out of the normal that I've done. Are you angry with me? Yeah. You know what I said. Mhm. Mm so. What was that? And that's that's a yes. It? Yeah, that looks like yeah. Yes. Yep. To be honest, it looks like an N.O. to me. That's why. Be a little clearer. Are you angry with Tyler? No. So what's your deal? So it says yes, then no. Need him. 
improves energy. So why does it say us? Is there more than one? I don't think so. I think it's just whoever this is and you, and he wants you for your energy. Oh, so leave me and him alone. Yeah. Well, I'm going to remove you tonight. If you don't like that, Knock this pen out of my hand. Knock it out of my hand. Because I'm going to cut the cord between you and him tonight. Dude, I'm getting like so dizzy. Yes. So you're going to leave. You're going to leave Tyler alone. I don't know who you are, what you what your deal is, why why you're bothering him. Uh, you don't have a right to do that. And so when I remove you, I'm gonna take you with me. What do you think of that? Yes. So you're gonna come with me. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're still doing the whole process. If you're going to try and just make it seem like this is a whole trade-off deal, it's going to happen. I get what you're thinking. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll go with you. You don't have to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm still going to... We're still going to do the process. Where did you come from? seen him? Home. So it says home. You're home. You know exactly who I am. You have seen me. Dude, if I see stuff, I just try and ignore it. I mean... What did you experience in your home? To where... I mean, I didn't see anything, but to where there's a knock at my door. It opens up. I thought it was my mom. Nobody's there. I go up. Nobody's home. There has been shadow play. I've seen stuff in the reflection of the TV. Hmm. Is that you? Yeah. So now are you willing to talk? No. But you're like talking now. I don't understand. Do you talk to me? I'll ask the questions. you feel sick sometimes I mean maybe I just I feel on and off you know it's just like if I think I'm feeling bad I kind of just go to bed I mean I've been sleeping a lot a lot I get home I'm always warm into what Didn't they come to me and open up to me? 
Why is this fucking weird? Uh, I feel like you're, some of what you're saying is true and some of it is bullshit. There's only one spirit that I really talk to, I mean, at home, and it never gave an issue. It went by the name of George, and it came and played at the Hinsdale house with the whole divot box deal. Said how it, Lori even contacted me, who I told you about, who is an empath, and she said how he was almost trying to protect. Now, I haven't talked to George in months now, mm. ever since all of this started happening where spirits are like going away mm. unless it was george faking out all of this stuff or i feel like this is completely different but i, I could be wrong it could have been playing a game george is that you why is it so hard to connect right now george I feel like whatever this is almost pushes everything away. It's like even pushing away with you being able to connect. Omen. The fuck does that mean, omen? I don't know what omen means. But now it's like this is making sense in the way of energy and stuff like that. I mean, we, how all these spots, I just, I lose it. I lose all this energy. I really don't know what you mean by omen, so no, I don't know what you mean. What, what is, what do you mean by omen? Like, you're here to haunt him? Like, what's the deal? Is that what you mean? Yes. So that, is that what an omen is? Like, something haunting you? I'm kind of stupid right now. I don't, I don't know what omen yes. means. Okay, well, you need to... Whoever you are, whatever you are, you need to stop and leave people alone. You have no right to affect anybody in any sort of way. So you need to leave Tyler alone if you are this omen that you had just written about. Whoa. What? That's <laughs> like the pen was just like, I don't know, just like jumped a little bit. Um, like, I don't know, it's weird. You... What? I haven't had this hard of a time before. Okay. So, when we go outside, I'm gonna do that cleanse again. And that cord that you have attached to Tyler, I'm gonna cut it. What do you think of that? It's time for you to leave. It's time for you to go. You can come with me if you want. And I'll deal with you. You can say leave us alone nice and easy, but when I ask you to do it right now, leave me alone. You don't want to do the same thing. Are you trying to protect Tyler? Is that what it is? Leave us alone. That's all it's saying? Yeah. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Alright, so can you like step aside? Just go somewhere. Please. And let somebody else come through that wishes to talk. Somebody that actually wants to talk. You can't control the room like that. Is there anything that we need to know? Any 
anything that we need to know. What does that say? You will make a mistake if you attempt to remove me. You will pay for it. You will suffer. That's not me doing that. And I, I'm not really afraid of you though. do you have attached to you are you are you human I'm gonna ask you again are you human yes I just want to know where it came from well it says my house he's human and very powerful yeah. how long have you been on this earth thousand no is that even fucking possible what two thousand years that doesn't even make sense why does that not make sense i don't know it's just that's a really long time i mean i guess it's possible it, okay so it's it's like I I heard him just say it is possible, you dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with him because I have to be with him. I've been following him since I don't know, like this is home and Salem keeps coming in. Why does Salem keep coming in? Is there more than one attachment? Is Salem where you got stronger? That doesn't make, well, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> it's just, I mean, I don't what's know. crazy is like, I sit here and I write this stuff and it's like a fucking puzzle, a bunch of puzzle pieces, of, you know, are thrown in front of me and putting the pieces together. At first, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, and I guess it wouldn't really make sense to me. I don't know. Um, like Salem, it's like weird. Like, you know, I mean, that's the first place I've touched a Ouija board to play. I don't think that would come into play for making him so strong. He's saying, Yeah, that is, yeah, yeah, because that's what helped form the attachment more. You welcomed it in. I played <laughs> the worst Ouija board in that place that's locked up and put away. Yeah, that was a no go. That's what happened. That's where it happened. Yep. That's where he gained his strength. That's where he came through. And that's how his attachment to you grew stronger. And that's why since then... So this thing's almost been with me for a whole year. Yeah. And then when I played the Ouija board, it's when it all grew. Yeah. This whole time, never touching a Ouija board, and I played in Salem with Josh. Nothing happens with the board. No, oh, that doesn't mean anything. No, I know, yeah. No, you... He was, It's almost like he was looking for a, an easy way in. Although, he, so... Spirits will follow you. The potential for them to follow you is definitely there. But when we welcome them in, that's when the attachment forms. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
Um, so when we attempt to communicate, like this happens so so much, people don't realize it. When we do house call investigations, people will say, "Oh, things happen here and there." And then my next question is, "Did you try to communicate with it?" Yes. The answer is yes. We we tried communicating. Okay, what did you use? Sphere box or you know, um, Ouija board most of the time. The answer is yes, and that's because you open up you open up that doorway and you allow them in because you are giving them that time, that energy. You are acknowledging them, and your intent is to communicate with them. So that is a welcome in, and so then that's when things start to amplify a little more because now, now they're in. Now they're in your home. You know what I mean? Like intent has so much to do with it too. Like people don't realize intent is pretty much everything. You intend to open that door to communicate. You don't need any equipment at all. You intend to communicate with the unseen and you're opening that door and they're coming in. So <clears throat> you using the Ouija board, that definitely, that was a wide open door. Jesus. This is just insane. I mean, first the spirit's telling us how it made the other group not be able to come messing with their whole thing. And now all of this coming back to Ouija board in Salem being stupid. Yeah. And you know what? It, if I were to sit and watch this on the other side, somebody sitting right like this, I'd think it, it's probably a bunch of bullshit and it doesn't make any sense. Like it's stupid. I would probably think that. But unless, I'm not going to encourage anybody to attempt to do it yourself unless you really want to open that door, um, you know, to try it out for yourselves. Believe it or not, everybody does have abilities. Uh, they all just kind of come to us in different ways. Um, but I, I, would, I would think that it's a load of shit. But having experienced it myself and... I have no reason to lie or make anything up. No. So, I mean, I'm not going to waste anybody's time doing that. No. I mean, when we were at the Lizzie Borden house, it, Shane was saying so much personal stuff, I stopped filming. Obviously, you know, um, Shane said so much stuff that was personal, and I shut the camera completely off. What do you think? We did that for like another 40 minutes and stuff? Oh, that at session? least... And I mean, it was just saying stuff that I've told nobody. If you guys believe me, I, I believe Shane. So, I mean, yeah. I know this might look strange and stuff like that, but it's like the stuff that he said to me at Lizzie's house, I would have... No, I'll be honest with you. It is fucking strange. It yeah. is absolutely strange. And, you know, um, when we were at the Sweet Home Estate and I was doing this and just so much stuff came through about M that I... I would have no idea. Oh, I yeah. I don't know M like... She she would vouch 100% too. I mean, she was crying in it. And, she, I mean, you said stuff I didn't even know. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I feel bad for situations like that, but I don't control what comes through. No. Um, you know, some, like Lauren, I think you're, you're going to find that... Uh, she said she was going to open up to someone in particular to try and communicate with. Whereas I don't do that. I open up to whomever wants to communicate. So um, we all have our different methods and how we choose to communicate. And uh, so I'm kind of, I'm actually curious to see what she came up with. I know. And, and that's like the worst part is we're going to have to wait until we pack up and go to the lot because, yeah. like I said, we're running on time. What, what time is it now? It's probably past midnight. And what really sucks is the thing that's following you. Uh, like Sherman has nothing else to do with it. No, he's, he's gone. He's Sherman's he, gone. He got he pushed out. out. Yeah, yeah. So I don't appreciate that. We were trying to. I mean, I do in a way because we're finding out more of what's going on with you and who the hell is following you. But we're also uh, here for the story, you know. Yeah, Sherman exactly, exactly. Trying but, to help. But if removing this thing is actually one of the reasons why we're here, then. That's what we have to do, and if it, that's that's just what we have to do. There's yeah. no way around it. 
so we're going to use this time uh, and do that and you know it's interesting earlier trying to do the cleansing on you nothing would stay lit no I yeah that's true I mean time. guys I should have shown you when we were doing all of it I mean nothing was staying lit for this to happen and it just mm -mm. no not at all and it it was really frustrating like I don't you know lighting sage and palo santo and stuff like that is typically it can be a pain in the ass but i was literally sitting there with the lighter on the on these two uh two things you know sage and palo santo and they they'd puff a little smoke and that's it and they'd go completely out like it was like it was never even lit no yeah so uh and that does happen sometimes when something does not want to be removed or cleansed it will try and prevent that all right guys well shane i can say on our end that was interesting that guys was interesting. oh sorry <laughs> but you guys can see now we are fully off the ship time i mean did it feel like time didn't exist no, on there like yeah. what happened i feel like yeah. we just got here i know yeah. we just got Crazy. on shane can so i take don't... pictures of what we got i'll do it like after. i know it like doesn't it looks no, like I a know. bunch of gibberish but well, that's how yeah okay it yeah we can show it right here so yeah i just want to see some of the big wording let them see like how it all looks wasn't there a word that you were like i don't know what this word is yeah we can just go to the other yeah. page or something like that yeah i apologize guys that's not my handwriting yeah good so in case you want to see my handwriting that's it yeah so major difference just all that stuff you will make a mistake if you attempt to oh wait you will make a mistake if you attempt to remove me you will pay that's what it you will pay oh for i was reading it. the other one but yep yeah and over here you will pay for it you will suffer yes. jesus yeah it's very powerful guys i just want to thank you so much for being or watching this video um as you can tell this one is something that we haven't seen before whether or not i have an attachment or not i personally didn't really even believe attachments were truly a thing i knew that i had to get some type of cleansing because things were off it doesn't affect me as bad you know what i mean on a personal day but who knows if this is going to grow who knows if we can get rid of this tonight you're going to see the cleansing and then after the cleansing this video is going to be completely done but i just want to say thank you guys so much and we're just going to have to see where this leads from here obviously i don't know i got maine next weekend and it's just going to be interesting to see what happens there so hopefully you guys are ready two weeks you're going to be able to see the grcc with the old conjuring house owners corey and jen heinzen and uh, a few other people. So I'm super excited for that one. Can't wait to just get up in Maine and uh, enjoy the weekend, do a nice ghost hunt, but who knows what's gonna be there. And of course we got a plane going by, but let's thank these guys. Just wanna say thank you again thank so you much. Thank you for and Shane, thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you. you guys yeah. are great. I can't wait to see what you guys overall oh, got. That was yeah. really awesome. But um, Make it's sure to like and subscribe to this awesome guy Tyler <laughs> <laughs> but like I said you guys are gonna see the cleansing and stuff like that and I mean you guys have been telling me already to get cleansed like crazy so you're actually gonna see it here but um other than that again guys thank you so much for spending your time with me and um enjoy the cleansing I don't even know how to say it it's it's just weird but thank you guys again so much and uh yeah keep ghost hunting